Holy Cross in white, UT Martin in blue, and we are underway. The winner will take out Iowa in the first round here on Saturday. And they are looking for their first tournament win since 1991. That also happens to be the only tournament win for a Patriot League school. Skyhawks, we may not see many more tonight. They all average over 35 minutes per game, and the runner is good off the window from McCarn. Mid-range is good from Janelle Allen, the senior. She was a member of the all tournament team of the Patriot League Championships this year. Sets a nice screen from McCormack, the senior out of Smithtown, New York. Defensive end here with the Hawkeyes. Off the bounce, the fade, and again, good use of the window. That's Anaya Brown. Here is Brown looking to go to work. Gets into the paint, spins back to her left. Can't allow Anaya Brown to slither through. She has improved so much throughout the course of the season at reading the double team, finding her ability to get to the rim. There's another three by McCormack. McCormack, who's got six points for them, leaves it off for Power Cassidy. She'll give it a go, and it's another three. They, they really do a good job of executing in the quarter court. Now they got to find ways to get good high percentage looks. Skip pass for three, and they finally break through after missing their first five attempts. Pitch back outside, and a triple for Flanagan. So this is a team that won their semifinals and then rested all their starters in the championship game because they have already lost six players, Stephanie, to injury this season, and they didn't want to lose any more in the final. It's been a terrific job, their underclassmen and their coaching staff, to get them to this point. Trying to hang on against the onslaught here early. Beth Mullins alongside Stephanie White here in Iowa City. The winner of this one will play Iowa on Saturday afternoon. Another three. Do so you see this again? A little dive action, try to hit the rising post. If they don't get it, they do just that. Get to the backside. You got two shooters. Good ball movement. Nobody's standing still for the Crusaders. They rip another one from downtown. McCormack with her fourth. Brown now with six. You're going to see UT Martin show a lot of different looks. They've already shown man to man, 1 3 1. They're showing matchup zone. They're working around inside the Cali right on point, understanding what you're going to get. High post flash, the zone comes up, the short corner dive is going to be there. Cal NCAA Championships building towards the Final Four in Cleveland, April 5th and April 7th. And the threes continue to rain down for the Crusaders. They're ninth. That's a two-pointer from Simone Foreman, their spark off the bench. It looked like Rubel thought there was going to be a switch, and Brown didn't go. Can't afford to do that against a team like Holy Cross. Allen picks up the block. <laughs> a few million, yeah. <laughs> Excited to see as we get uh, underway in the first round tomorrow where the women's upsets might happen. There have been 14 of them the last three years. They haven't really been able. Coach said has McCormack hits another three. Wow. That's her fifth three of the ball games. Saturday afternoon, 3 Eastern on ABC right here at Carver Hawkeye Arena. And Holy Cross will score on its first possession. And it is an assisted basket to Callie Wright. McCormack resets, fires, and hits another one. <laughs> They're not able to find ways to get easy buckets. Usually you get those points off of turnovers. They don't really turn them over a lot. You get offensive rebound putbacks like that. The Buckeyes, a two seed in the regional three in Portland. Layup is good there from Love Mays. pass open look uh, that's been the story of this ball game big execution offensively uh, they 
pounded into the paint. Callie Wright. Meg Cahalan also out there for Holy Cross. Pull up is good. And for Kara McCormack, a new career high. To the next action. Oh, yeah. Almost missed her. Got there eventually. Bruno. Hannah Griffin, Mary Elizabeth Donnelly, Lauren Huber all getting some run right now. Nice backdoor cut. And the basket for Kenley McCarn. For the uh, Crusaders. We'll get ready to face Iowa on Sunday. We see what Holy Cross can do. Well, here in Iowa City on Saturday, Iowa and a Holy Cross, it's looking like right now, followed by West Virginia. And one of those games will be the final home game for Caitlin Clark. Yes, yes, that absolutely will. That's why we're going to have sold out crowds. Big buzz. I hear there's going to be some tailgates. Numbers expected again throughout this NCAA tournament. Watching players like Caitlin Clark, watching Hewitt in the post. Patriot League has an NCAA tournament win for the second time ever, and Holy Cross has both of them. 1991 and 2024. The Crusaders beat UT Martin 72 to 45 behind a career night for Kara McCormack. 23 points on 7 of 10 shooting from downtown.